This text-to-speech technique merges Tortoise and RVC together to create very accurate voice cloning. Let me show off one quick project and then we're gonna jump into how exactly I do it. So you know that audiobook maker that I had shown off in some videos? You can make audiobooks with this and I think it is just fantastic. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember, that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. So that sounds pretty good to me. Um, and that's all text-to-speech generated. And the best part is that it's all free and that you can run it on your computer as long as your hardware is sufficient enough. All right, so now that the video has been introduced, yeah, simply what I'm doing is taking audio from Tortoise TTS and then feeding that into RVC. And you may be wondering if we can make this quicker. Yes, you can probably pipeline it out with requests to this API and then the RVC API. But let's just go ahead and demonstrate the ability of this. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and use my voice for here. Let's go do me, me, and then we're going to say something simple like, hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is no longer run by a human, but only by artificial intelligence. You may be wondering why I spelled out artificial intelligence because it currently cannot tokenize AI correctly and um, just says I. <laughs> and so we're gonna go ahead and generate this and then we're going to listen. All right, let's take a listen. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is no longer run by a human, but only by artificial intelligence. Okay, so that sounds nothing like me. And, you know, Tortoise does a decent job at uh, keeping the same prosody and the same intonation. Um, but let's go ahead and save this as, let's just do me example. And what I'm going to do is bring this over into RVC and uh, use my trained voice. And then we're going to do a conversion here. And then we'll go ahead and take a listen. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is no longer run by a human, but only by artificial intelligence. Okay, so not too bad on the first generation for um, Tortoise TTS. Um, you can do a couple of iterations and that's generally what I do. And then I cherry pick the best result, of course. That is uh, my process. There are a couple of things that we can change though to get a little bit clearer audio. So here we are back in the Tortoise uh, TTS GUI. The main objective is to try to reduce any static or any type of glitch inside of the voice because RVC will kind of keep that if you if you do that. Um, so, you know, bringing up the samples to say four, uh, maybe bringing up iterations to 100. Um, and then the length penalty, uh, we could probably do six to make it a little bit more terse. Or we'll do eight and then six here. Um, and then I, I keep all of these, you know, the same. And then we could just try to regenerate and then see what we get. All right, so here we go. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is no longer run by a human, but only by artificial intelligence. Okay, so that one was pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and download. I went ahead and saved and copied in the path. And then let's go ahead, convert, and let's listen. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is no longer run by a human, but only by artificial intelligence. So that one is pretty good. And I think you get the concept. I would just do that over and over. But there are a couple of tips and tricks to do. So let me go ahead and show you one. And that is bringing UVR into the mix. Okay, so now we're bringing all of the stuff that I've shown you how to do on the channel into this process. So here we go. Here we have the two windows. What we're going to do is do vocals only. And for the input, I'm going to drag in in the raw audio file. This is the one out of Tortoise, Tortoise TTS. And then I'm just going to output it. So let's go ahead and do start processing. It's going to process the sample. And then we'll go ahead and do this RVC with that. So convert. And then let's go ahead and take a listen. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is no longer run by a human, but only by artificial intelligence. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and save this one. And then we're going to do one more thing, and that is use UVR to filter out the final sample. So 
let's go ahead and drag and drop this into the input and then we're going to go ahead and start processing one more time and so let's do a comparison of before UVR and after UVR so I'm gonna play before UVR first and then after second here we go hey welcome to my YouTube channel it is no longer run by a human but only by artificial intelligence hey welcome to my YouTube channel it is no longer run by a human, but only by artificial intelligence. And as you can hear, that final UVR got rid of the background ambience noise and the little buzzing that you could hear in the background. And that is a very clean audio sample with one little click in the beginning or one little click in the middle. Um, but you know, that can be solved or that can be resolved by doing more iterations and more runs on the Tortoise TTS before you go and convert it into RVC. And I know one of the critiques on my Tortoise TTS video was that 11 Labs is much cleaner, is way better than Tortoise TTS. So let's just go ahead and listen to the same sentence trained on the same audio. And here we go, let's go ahead, generate. Oops, okay, looks like I don't have access to my cloned voices anymore because uh, I no longer have a subscription. So shoot, let me go ahead and subscribe real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and um, listen to this sentence. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is no longer run by a human, but only by artificial intelligence. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is no longer run by a human, but only by artificial intelligence. So let's go ahead and take a look at my settings. Um, I've got stability at 50% and then my clarity and similarity enhancement is at um, 90% so so as you can see that did not sound close at all and um, it's really good quality it's just the voice cloning isn't up to par compared to Tortoise TTS and RVC. Okay, so now that we've established that Tortoise TTS plus RVC produces a really solid result plus UVR the only issue is with pipelining it all so yes I am currently working on a one-click pipeline solution that you can literally just click in the beginning and it should run through the entire process however that takes some time for me to code so in the meantime you guys could play around with this if you have both of those installed all the tutorials are on my channel and that's going to be the end of today's video i just wanted to showcase this whole process as i think the information should get out there um towards cts plus rvc produces something spectacular so yeah hopefully some of you guys found that helpful um you know leave a comment like subscribe all that fun stuff but i will see you guys in a future video so see you later guys